announcement that we have quite a peculiar item in our lost and found section. It seems to be a cardboard cutout from of Saber from Fate Stay Night. It's a cardboard cutout. I don't know which one of you came in with a cardboard cutout of Saber, but whoever it belongs to... Yeah, you're not getting it back. That's mine now. Suck it. Hello everyone, it's me, Joshua Kujo, your local grocery store VTuber, coming live at you on a Tuesday evening! It is currently 8pm when I... when I? It is currently 8pm where I am. And today we're playing even more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Did you expect anything else? If you expected anything else, um, I have some bad news for you. I am addicted to this game. Like, I don't know how many times I've actually, like closed out the game in order to do anything else on my switch i'm pretty sure it's been it's, it's just been running outside of the fact that i did update my like game a couple of days ago but other than that there hasn't been many instances where i actually close the game out it's like it's constantly on not the switch itself it's just that i never bother to close out the game and I do bring this thing to work with me I play on my breaks whenever I can because the grind never stops there's just more there's there's always something for me to explore you know so anyways um oh ignore that um <laughs> we don't have much of a goal right now so where we last left off, we actually liberated Luralin Village. That's something that we can do. We can go back to Luralin Village and see what we can do to um, to rebuild it. It was current. It, it was previously overrun by pirates. Pirates just being a bunch of monsters, but we were able to kill all of them. One of them was hiding underneath a well, and I spent a good amount of time trying to find them. And what else did we do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went up here. We, we grabbed this area. We went to Terrytown. That's also something else that we can do. We can do Terrytown. Um, we grabbed the Akala area. The Akala Highlands. We went to Robbie's um, old lab to get a prototype of the Travel Medallion, which we now have in our possession. If you don't know what the Travel Medallion is, you can just plop it anywhere you want. Right now, we can only do one. However, um, Robbie has told us that if we get 10 map datas, right now we have a, uh, I believe we have eight. I believe we have eight map datas. But if we get 10, which we can also do on the stream, I mean, these two areas, they're not story. They're not story, they're, they're just areas. We can grab these two areas, which will give us 10, which will also allow us to, um, be able to do two plop in like plop two travel medallions on the ground that we can just teleport to whenever we want also honey welcome to the stream thank you for the lurk i will see you another time <laughs> so those are things that we can do on the ground level again i i said that i was gonna visit this island but then i didn't i ended up not doing it so we can probably do that as well what else? There are some shrines that we can do. I found some shrines. We can do those. There is the um, the labyrinth that is over here. I don't know what's over here. I didn't go here. I went to this area, but I didn't go to whatever this is. We can go there. This wasn't anything important. It was just one of those islands with a lighthouse. I don't really know the significance of those, if there is any at all. So we can do that. There are potentially a lot of stuff that we can do. But you know how it is. Like you start to do something and then something else catches your eye. You get distracted, so on and so forth. Before you know it, you're off in who knows where. So, first thing we're gonna do. We're just gonna go ahead and clear the shrines that I found. There's not a lot of them. There's enough for me to, um, there is enough for me to upgrade at least one of my things. 
which I believe is going to be stamina. Yeah, we, we did, um, we got 12 orbs last stream, which gave us three upgrades, which I did two health and then one stamina. So once we do these, we'll upgrade our stamina. I think I've only found, I want to say around four. Yeah, I think I only found four. One of them is still the shrine that gets us to Terrytown, which I can't do right now because apparently I got to do a quest in order to do that. So I think we only have four. I wanted to say five, but then I remembered there was that one. So this is going to be another shrine where we start off with nothing. We got to sneak our way around. I like this one, so they're pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. So long as they can't see me, can I? Okay, I can't do that. Good to know. But I just gotta move once he can't see me. Right now. That's good. Are they on? Oh, they're on a boat. Okay. I'm trying to check the surroundings. Okay. Yeah, they're all on boats. They're all on boats. Looks like. Captain over there, a uh, bunch of archers. Now, I don't believe I have any bows, so <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> there's anything in here. Huh? <laughs> Break. Oh, are you stone? You're like a stone barrel. I could use you for extra. <laughs> hey, five. Not bad. I can use that. Um, there's no enemy on there. I can use it to hide. But where do I drop on? That's the question. Oh, no, no, you can't see me. How can you see me all the way over there? I know they're robots, but still. Oh, something up here. <laughs> I gotta be fast. Grab. So I got arrows and fire fruits. That being said, I don't have any bows. So not 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 too useful to me. At least not right now. I could, you know, just like. Is that a ladder? Okay, that is a ladder. I can go there for a bit. I should probably try to get on to a boat that has an enemy. That way I can steal their weapon, most likely a boat. You can't see me. I'm hiding behind a pillar. There's no way you can see me. Also, there are more ladders around. That's good. I'm just checking my surroundings. Are those bomb things? I think those are bomb barrels up there. Can't make use of them right now because, again, I do not have any. <laughs> I do not have any weapons. Well, I have weapons. I just don't have any bows. Which is something that I do need. I think that's the round trip, huh? I don't know if there's really anything else. What is that? Is that a place that I can go to? It's like a boat. It's like stationary, it looks like. Yeah, it's stationary. It's not moving. Okay, we, we can go there. We can kill that guy real quick. So long as he doesn't see us. But we should be fine. I just gotta make sure we reach it. Okay, we'll do this. We'll be closer.
Tilt him in. <laughs> Make him go into the water. Nice. Grab whatever's in there. I thought one of the I thought he would have a boat. game I would kill to have those uh, spike balls, but they're not as powerful as the things that I can get right now. See, that's pretty good. In fact, I could probably get rid of... Don't I have one really? No, I don't. And as always, thank you oh. for shopping at your local grocery store. Yggdrasil, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hi, cute little Joshua. Hello. <laughs> not a lot of people call me cute, but I will thank you for that. Hello, how are you doing? I'm playing some Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom right now. Thank you. 
how am I? I'm doing pretty good. I got off work at 7, which is uh, an hour ago. Came home around 7.20. I didn't do much afterwards. I just like filled up my water bottle, set up stream, and that was about it. And now I'm streaming. But I just got done with work. Not a lot of people? What? Not a lot of people, what? Let's see here. Cute streamer, though. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ezra. Admittedly, I didn't get much sleep last night. Well, it was one of those nights where I don't really know if I went to sleep or if I was just like conscious with my eyes closed. It was like somewhere in between. I feel like I dreamt last night, but I can't be too sure. That's the shrine that I can't do right now. We're gonna skip that. What is this shrine? I think some of the shrines that I have are also the ones that are just the reward because I did have some that like it, it was one of those shrines where I had to just bring a gem to the shrine and that was it did I have a nice day um yeah I had a pretty nice day at work it wasn't too you know stressful or anything it was actually pretty chill which I'm always glad to have how was your day how was everyone else's day y'all doing good Hopefully so. Useful. Oh no, I don't need to drop any of them. Never mind. The Lionel Shields are good with durability, and yeah, they do have the added bonus that I can attack with them. But now that fuse is, is a thing, that's not in that's not a function that's now exclusive to the Lionel Shield. I can attach a lot of things to my shield that also do damage. But it's still pretty good. Now what do you what is happening? Oh, I think I know what you want me to do. I'm gonna drop you, yep. don't I? what two two or three no that's two i believe yeah two which means i only need another two in order to upgrade something that's something that i saw in the background more pirate ships i believe i might be able to just fly to them by going over to this peak it's not a peak it's a cliff same thing found two more shrines on the ground level and I believe there's one in the sky 
Or was the sky one another gem? Gem quest that I gotta do. I don't think so. Also, I found quite a distressing enemy in the depths off stream like earlier today. I found what was called a King Gleok. Now, I think I... I made reference to this yesterday, although it was only speculation that it might be an enemy. And then I found out that it actually is an enemy. It was like I, I made the uh, assumption that there's probably going to be a version of the Gleok that has one head lightning, one head fire, one head ice. And that exa is exactly what I found. <laughs> it's called a King Gleok. I'm not trying to fight that thing right now, but I know where it is. Huck. this an arena uh your advice ancient evil you have entered here here heed my instructions approach the enemies back without being noticed and deal a surprise attack oh okay you just want me to do that i can do that your other attacks are ineffective here ready yourself i haven't had one of these shrines in a while it's just one of the tutorial shrines but at this point like i thought all the tutorial shrines would be around this area I, I wonder why there's a tutorial one here there's plenty of stuff that we can do to distract them in fact we don't even even need to do like a proper like a proper um going around it i can just do this <coughs> Can't see me. What? No, I got it. Yeah, there you go. What do I have to do? Another one? Approach the patrolling enemies back unnoticed and deal a surprise attack. I gotta do it while the puff is still there. Can't see me. Can't see me. In fact, you know what? Die. <laughs> Easy. I wouldn't say I proved my mastery, I was just a bit more crafty. I love the puff shrooms, they're so... They are so handy. That's why I farmed a whole bunch of them. I just went down to the depths and got as much as I could. Same with the bombs. And the muddle buds, I haven't really used the muddle buds in a while. But uh, maybe if I'm like surrounded, I could use it. I don't think I could use it on a Lionel. Otherwise, that would be a bit too OP, wouldn't it? Just imagine having a Lionel fighting with you. Then again, Lionels aren't exactly near other enemies, so it's not like it's like even if you use a muddle bud on a Lionel, it's not like they can help you a lot. Because a lot of the times they're just by themselves. They're like out in an open field and there's no other monsters around. Oh, my back. Always oh, got it. I always have to crack my neck. Also, did I get that one over there? I did, okay. I was trying to look at a shrine. I thought I didn't get it. And this is... Courage to pluck. What does pluck mean? Let's take a look. Okay. Metal mechanism, electricity. What's this thing? I don't know what that thing is. There's the area that we need to go to. And there is a ball over there. And that seems to be. Oh my god, is that what they mean by courage to pluck? Is this Jenga? You're making me play Jenga? Okay, well, uh, best thing to do, I guess, is to do this. Just get those middle ones, huh? 
I'm guessing you want me to connect these two areas. Oh god. <laughs> it's a good thing that thing was not near the metal. Doesn't look like I need too much. Um, is there another three tower? Gotta be real careful. Oh, I could probably grab that one. I'm just careful. Oh! Oh god. Wait, wh another one fell down. What happened? Is that enough? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Can I grab me? Come back. I need you to come back for just a moment. And we're good. Because my main goal is that way. My main goal is to blow up and act like I don't know. <laughs> Can I just topple this thing? Aw, yeah. oh, man. Not too bad of a shrine. Pretty simple. Why were there... What, what, why are there fans here? Oh, no, that's not a fan. I thought that was a fan, like a construct fan. No, it's not. So, of course, the thing that we can do here is just bring this over here. Bring it to us. Climb on top. And we go. Easy. That is, well, a Zonite bow, huh? A Zonite bow that draws power from your energy cell. Power drains and arrows can fly much farther according to how long. Actually, I've never had this kind of bow before. I am curious about it now. So we're, this is the Zonite bow. Uh oh, whoops. I go that, okay. So I can just hold it? At what point? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I don't have a battery in shrines, but I'm guessing if I were to do this in the mainland, then I would I would be depleting some battery. So is this the limit to how much I can hold this? I'm guessing if I let go right now, it'll be a, like a straight shot. Kind of. It's definitely got further range. That's an interesting bow. The only other weird bow that I've seen is the one that you get from Phantom Ganons, which is the thing that spawns whenever you beat all the gloom hands. I believe the effect of that thing was the more hearts you have, the more powerful it is. Now, when I first got that bow, I only had around like four or six hearts. But now that I have this much, it's probably more powerful now. That being said, I haven't found... I haven't seen the gloom hands in a while. Last time I saw it, I think I died to it. <laughs> there you go. Just one more shrine. Oh, excuse me. It might be, it might just be a reward shrine. If it is, well, that gives us more time to, to just go around everywhere. We've already established what kind of things that we can do today. Please be a reward shrine. Pretty please? Yes, it is. Nice. Although, most likely, <laughs> it's gonna give you a magic rod, isn't it? I don't really use magic rods. Okay, no, th that's useful. I'll take that. Oh, right. Now we just go to a town and then I can upgrade one of my stuff. 
It's just going to be my stamina. Yeah, stamina's fine. There's another side quest that I can do. I've been taking pictures because I, I just looked at the map right there. There are like, oh, not that. Sorry. These star shaped islands with like a tablet that you can take a picture of that apparently has some kind of like, it's like a diary. Like someone etched a diary into stone and there's someone in Kakariko village that can actually translate them. I started that quest a while ago, but then I never went back to actually like cash in the tablets that I did take pictures of. Cause I think I've taken a picture of at least, I want to say three of them. So I could do that as well. Well, in that case, we'll go to Kakariko village. Cause he's there as well. I can upgrade my stamina and then go to that guy. Oh, that's funny. My mic is picking up the uh, plane that just went over my house. <laughs> I didn't think it would be able to do that. Guess it's just that loud, huh? Kakariko Village. Now, what are these for? I remember when I first got here, I could buy one of these garlands and then I could actually put the garland like on my, one of my weapons. I didn't know if there was an actual significance of them or not. It always looks like the goddess statue has a bib on. Oh, uh, make bonds stronger. I didn't realize I had enough of that for, yeah, slide on. Looks like I can only do them once. I can only upgrade once? That means there's only... There's probably only 16 of them, huh? No, no, but then I have five rings. Maybe there's more. Maybe I'll get more than just the four guys. The four guys, you know, the Rito, the Gerudo, Goron, and Zora. Maybe there's more avatars that I can get. That's a lot of characters on the screen. I might have to turn some of them off. We'll see. We'll see how they play out. If it gets too distracting having like too many of them on screen, I'll probably turn some of them off. Oh wait, I just realized I didn't. <laughs> I was like, did I do what I came to do? No, I didn't. I only upgraded that bond. I didn't upgrade my stamina at all. Stamina? Stamina. Anytime I play master mode, all I do is upgrade my health, because god knows I need it. And then my stamina suffers. <laughs> Yo, I got oh. the stuff. Well, did you find a stone slab? Or tablet, I mean? According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 12 tablets left to find. Oh. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I got it. I got three. I <laughs> want to say I got three. Maybe four. Hmm. Interesting. I'll get right to translating it. Oh. Aha. Incredible. Oh. It's first-hand Hyrulean history. Here's what the original text says. Mm. So sweet the song of King Raru. And, oh yeah, that's right. It, it 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 always starts in this weird kind of text and then he translates it for us. And so grant the butte of his sister's dance that were in mine eyes and Eris captive. On so hand Queen Sonia's gasen on us, Al, <laughs> so felt he mean hurt, Al's captive fallen. Swarantis lif, though moche laborsum, han moche jollity as well. Lon Longi be the lift of the royal family, there I love so. Oh. 
is an account of a party from those days. It says King Rauru and his older sister. Oh, he has a sister. King Rauru has a sister? Uh, sang and danced together while Queen Sonia looked on. Oh. It's very interesting. We think of royalty as austere and reserved, but these nobles amuse themselves with song and dance. Jojo, you gross you. Hey, Huffy, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. But what a vivid recounting of a scene never before related in any history book. Oh. The descriptions of their personalities and expressions made the ancient past feel alive again. This stone tablet is a first class find. Well done, dear Chamberlain, and leaving behind this account for us. <laughs> I'm positively, positively beside myself to think of how this history, I'm oh, sorry, this story from the ancient past preserves so long to reach us today. Thank you, Link, and I haven't forgotten about your reward. Oh, shoot, thank you. Oh. The thoughts of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 11 tablets left to find. I have more! <laughs> the original text says, Sonia, Queen to Hyrule's, Hyrule's King. I'm, I'm gonna try and figure out what it's saying. By birth, Hylian... Okay, I don't know that word. Herself, born of land... Not of sky above. I'm guessing that's what it says. Uh, Sonia, queen of Hyrule's king. Uh, queen to Hyrule's king. By birth, Hylian... I don't know... Um, probably priestess. By birth, Hylian priestess herself born of land, not of sky above. Speaks she with open heart. Earnest to allies. Oh, so I thought that word was going to be even, but then even is right next to it. Earnest, uh, oh, oh, earnest to all. Earnest to all. I don't know what that word is. Even to Zonai's king. This king think it god adventure so to learn of the land's folk. King thinks it's a good adventure to learn of the land folks. To send his head event to listen. It switched pl okay, I don't know what he's saying. Oh. Claims that Sonia was a priestess before marrying Rauru. Okay, we got that part right. Despite his status as a Zonai, a people popular a popularly thought to be gods, she would counsel him without trepidation. Moreover, Rauru heeded this counsel. Ah. Okay. It's probably how they met. I think I think it was saying like how Rauru um, like, made a point to try and study to, to, like, learn of the people of the land. And I'm guessing that's where he meets Queen Sonia, who helps him try to understand, like, their culture and all that. Yeah, there you go. Found himself unexpectedly charged by her strong will. And before long, they were married. Mm. That must have been quite the bedroom. At last, but... That last bit isn't in the text, that's me speculating. Nonetheless, this is truly fascinating. History rarely speaks of a person's character prior to being elevated to royalty, so I can't help but fantasize. Oh, it's gonna be 100? I'll oh. take that, though. God knows there's not a lot of places to get money in this world. Ah! Oh. That being said, I have a lot of gems that I could sell, mm. but I haven't done it. I, I mean, I haven't done it. I haven't done so because I haven't needed to buy anything quite yet. Oh. Mm. Switch wondrous sight. I have beholden that con hit now justly be described. The devil of time I saw an Alan held it risen to the sky, both fearful and majestic. As Princess Zelda, it told me, huh? In for distant future comes a champion to that place, the hope that Hyrule is safe. And I think this is recalling, I think this is like a, a log talking about how Princess Zelda, who is in the past right now, of course, uh, is like pretty much retelling how the Temple of Time in the land that Link would one day come to it. It's like re, re it's like retelling Breath of the Wild. For that champion, be it that these great stand inscribing. 
the king's elder sister Min oh so that's the sister's name Mineru sends now this stand to the sky that the champion might hum Iridan oh. or maybe he's talking about the temple of time in the great sky island that might also be it so King Rauru's older sister was named Mineru <sighs> my head is spinning I need to lie down Ah. Oh. An eyewitness account of the Temple of Time floating up into the sky. Mm. It's a landmark discovery of the history of Hyrule. It may be one of the top 10 most important discoveries of all time. Even among all the breathtaking displays of power we knew of the area, of the era, to raise the land and its buildings into the sky. That was a feat impressive even to those accustomed to wonders. You could tell as much from this account. Mm. Zelda predicted that a hero would appear in the land they raised into the sky that he would save Hyrule. Okay, so yes, yeah, they're talking about not the Temple of Time in the land, but the one in the sky. I wonder if they ever explain why there's two Temple of Times. A Chamberlain took this on faith and wanted to know how she could help. So she inscribed these records on stone tablets that Minero sent into the, into the sky. Huh. Okay. I think that's all the ones I have. I don't think I have another one, right? Do I have? Oh, I do! Ah, Cool. Rauru Hyrule's King, Sony her Queen, Elder Sister Mineru, and Princess Zelda. All whom I served and loved. All whom... They're gone. <laughs> Lankaros did his words upon this stone. This then, an old 13. Oh! Is this saying that there aren't 12 tablets, but there are 13? Seven Oz royal families record. Men work final. <laughs> well, for of all age. <laughs> Many of the mark made by these much beloved people, some at sin, some unseen. One, you make remembrance of her marks. So, oh, okay, I don't know what it's saying. I'll, I'll just read the cliff notes. I cannot met Princess Zelda, her love for her land. What more than ask I, ask I do for peoples, Hyrule's peoples. Let min life lead me from henceforth an answer full worthy to this question. Oh, oh this is the last one. The royals whom the Chamberlain served so faithfully were gone one by one. It's heartrending to read. Her pain comes across so clearly in her words. I wonder uh, if I'm gonna ever, not me, but probably like, find some account of this Chamberlain that's talking right now. What's less clear from these entries is the cause of all these partings. Well, each new mystery is an opportunity to do more research. If I keep digging, someday I'll unravel it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I definitely do oh. not have any more, though. Oh. <laughs> cool. Uh. What, are you just gonna have them there for me to read whenever I want? I think so. Ah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of just, like, transcribed it. Mm. You're welcome to come and have a look at the research lab ball any time. If you find any more stone tablets, please do document them with the picture so I can see. Yeah, I'll keep a lookout. Hello, Paya. Bye, Paya. Alright. That is done, which means our next course of action is... We can do Lurlin Village and Terrytown. But the one that I want to go to right now is this, because I've been putting off visiting whatever this island is. Question is, how do I get there? Well, there's plenty of ways we can get there. Involving a hovercraft, of course. Now, this is the area closest to it. Should be able to get there from there. We could also hitch a ride on a dragon, but that's a bit more... It, it's, it's more showy, but it's also a bit more time-consuming. <laughs> Because I would first have to find a dragon. Okay, it's over there. In the green, it is... Where's the island? Is that the island? No, that's not the island, is it? It's like... 
No, I think that is the island. Where's the green mark? There's a green light. Oh, it's up there. Yep. It's up there. And there's a dragon that I could have hitched a ride on to get there. That's the light dragon. That being said... Let's just get over there. Good old handy dandy hovercraft. Oh, I should have. I should have used a rocket or two. Yeah, I could have used a rocket to just like propel myself up there. Maybe I'll find one over there. That or I could just like, land there for a second, plop in a rocket or two. That way we can scale up the sky a bit more easier. <laughs> I say scale up as if we're climbing the sky and not just like driving up there. It makes sense, right? No, it doesn't. Probably doesn't. Or turn like right there. Ooh. We'll do straight up. Oh no, I can't do that. Because then I don't have a way to get on the, the actual control. There you go. I'm still not sure if me putting one rocket is the same as like putting two rockets because they all they all like uh, disappear at the same time. So I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference in order like if, if I did that. It looks like a castle, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a castle. I'm also curious about that. There's just a waterfall up there. Now I could climb that using my Zora's tunic, but I'm already on a bike. <laughs> Maybe I'll go over there first and then we'll see what's over here. I could also farm some materials on the light dragon. Although, I mean, The materials are kind of handy. I mean, it's, it's it's ability if you were to infuse it to one of your weapons is that if you hit someone, you heal yourself. Pretty handy, but it's also, it's kind of slow. It's kind of slow to do so, you know? It's like a quarter of a heart with each hit, which means you, you got to do a lot of hits. And I don't know if it matters like how hard you hit or if it's just hit, heal. Or if you have to hit a certain amount of times to heal. I didn't really experiment on that. Grab one of these. I do not want to run out of power. I also got to visit one of those islands again. It's like an island where I can do a, like a mini, um, no, I almost said mini boss. It's just a side quest, I believe, that gets me the hang glider, not hang glider. It's like the body suit, the body glider. The kind where you like spread your arms and it's kind of like wings. I believe that's how I get those. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, I need a touchdown here, because... Oh my god. Stop that. I need to go here, because there are fairies here. I need those. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Frog! Frog! Why are there frogs up here? How do frogs survive being up here? Do they just eat the fairies? Ah, oh, shoot. No! No! Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, come on, Yunobo. Damn it. Stupid Yunobo. Also, uh, Joe Zero, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. How you doing? 
I'll grab these, thank you very much. I mean, I could also just use this platform as a way to get over there. It's not averse to that, I'll do that. And well... If it doesn't work out and I accidentally fall, well... I have a backup plan. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring this thing with me. Just in case. Hopefully I don't need it. Hopefully it doesn't fall off when I do this. Banana. Banana! <laughs> now what is this area? We could go to the top, but let's start from the bottom. Work our way up. I see some things. Some curious little objects. I don't need that anymore. This is a quest, right? What? What do you want me to do? Oh, please don't tell me this is timed. Okay. We got some wind. Do I just have to, like, find my way inside there? Using the wind? Okay. Good thing it's not timed. Zonite Forge Island. Okay. How's the game? It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I am, uh, very much enjoying my time playing this game. I was like... I play it constantly. Both on stream and off stream. <laughs> on my breaks at work, I'm playing it. On my bed right before I go to sleep, I'm playing it. It's just... Every time. Is that where you want me to... Right here? Oh, no? Look right here. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, that's enough for me to actually upgrade. Upgrade one of my slots. I wonder what I would get. I don't think I really need another weapon slot. It's not like I break my weapons that much. Like, I replace them pretty regularly, so... I'm not in dire need of weapons. I mean, I could do a weapon slot just to have, like, a throwaway slot. You know what I mean? Like, just have a slot for a weapon that just breaks rocks. I could do that. Now let's do this all on foot. We don't need to constantly use the... Constantly use the uh, hovercraft. I'm trying not to. Because I will rely on that quite a lot. But I don't want to take away the adventure of just going at it on foot, you know? Oop, not there. That is a dead end. Anything here? Mm, there could be if I fall down there, but I also do not want to fall down there. Oh, there's, there's that um, platform we were in earlier. What about this way? Is there anything here? Oh, thank you, Sidon. I didn't really need that, but thank you. a large structure. I don't know if the structure is in reference to anything in particular. Though it's called a Zonite Forge. Which means I could probably get a good amount of Zonite from this place. If I could find out where it is. Probably inside. More than likely. Probably past that gate in the bottom. It might also be a refinery. Like, so that I can upgrade my battery? Could be. Get up here. And go up here. Gotta make sure I'm not missing anything. Drop down a bit. 
so I can recover my stamina and we're good. Yeah, the shrine is below, but I think we got a drop down there. Like we got a drop all the way from the top. Also, what's that? Is there something here? Imagine what playing this game must feel like for someone who is who has uh, acrophobia. I believe that's what it's called, acrophobia, fear of heights. I can't imagine they want to be playing this game. I don't know if it will trigger their phobia, like playing a game, maybe for more severe cases. I'm not gonna pretend to know how phobias work. People who have like philosoph I believe it's called philosophobia, which is the fear of the ocean. Pe uh, like people who have that playing Subnautica. So like Subnautica, it's like it's not meant to be. I is it meant to be a horror game, or is it just one of those things where it's just because it's the fact that you're exploring the ocean that it is inherently like horrific and yeah i guess there are monsters under there but is it just meant to be a an ocean exploring kind of game that just happened to be terrifying <laughs> simply due to the fact that you're in the ocean i wouldn't be surprised let's check up here hello Big tree. There's probably a Korok in there. Korok? Korok? Korok in the middle? Rock? Yep, rock. Yeah, ha How come there aren't, there aren't any more round Koroks? Makar is the only round Korok in Legend of Zelda. He's a sage. He's a sage in Wind Waker. He's a Korok, but he's round. He's round and tubby. He's the only Korok that has that shape. I wish there were more. Cause <laughs> They're just so short. There's a dumb image of uh, Link um, where he's just holding a Korok like a hamburger. It's just like <laughs> this is a dumb little image, but it makes me very happy. Ah, gotcha. Oh, we made it. That, that actually was not too bad. What do you have for me over here? Please give me something good. Ooh, I hope you have a big battery. I would really like to find a big battery, please. Please and thank you. Mm, I think I've had everything that's in here. Do I have everything? There's one mystery one. Big battery, big battery, come on. Oh no, it's just a bomb, isn't it? Is that it? It's just the bomb? Yeah, it's just a time bomb. I haven't really found much use for the time bomb. Sometimes I'll attach it to an arrow, but then it doesn't, it doesn't explode. It still does the whole time thing. It doesn't explode like right then and there. Excuse me. Ooh, another one of these. 
these ones. And it's... It's zero gravity. Well, not zero gravity, but... High jump. This might be a bit more challenging. Depending on how we do this. Okay, so there is a thing over there. I could use that for a good amount of height. I mean, I could also use the scent right here. We have a good amount of aerial to us. Oh. What? You won't let me just land, will ya? You gotta make me go down all the way from the bottom. but then I'll switch to another one. Let's make it to this one. I'll use it if I need it, but I don't think I need it right now. Ah, damn it. <laughs> if only I could use a send, like, in midair. I wonder what things I can do by having, uh a rocket to one of my weapons. I don't know if it really does anything. Maybe it, like, raises my attack speed. Also, this place goes nowhere. This is just a thing. Oh, no, no, there is something I can do, but then I, ha I would actually have to You know what I could do with that? Yes, okay, good. I can just do this. Hopefully this works. Ah, shoot. I should have taken account the uh, whole zero gravity thing. You know why did I do that? I could have gone up there. Huh? All right, well, we'll have to do it this way then. Uh, we'll just, I'll just do this. Hi. Um, hopefully this does not kill me, but. that I do not have any arrows, but I think I, sh I should be good. I, I think I'll be good. In fact, you know what? Oh man, you saw me. I was trying to sneak up on you. Also, I fell down. And I dodged an arrow. 
I don't want to know what would have happened had I got hit there. Ooh, arrows. Thank you. No, that's not an arrow. I'll take that, though. And while I'm at it, there's still a couple of things that I can do here. Mainly. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oops, not that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I think I know what I can do with my weapon. <laughs> so here's one weapon that I could use. Oh, let's unequip that for now. Because I have a feeling if I am not careful, I'm going to blow myself up. And that does tend to happen. Cool. Cool thing I can do with my weapon. Up. And I missed. Son of a gun. Oh man. I wanted to get that thing back. But it's out of my range. Other thing I can do. Hopefully I can hit him. Yeah. No. Well, I did hit him, but it didn't kill. Hi. It's a good thing I'm just really good at fighting these things. <laughs> Imagine if I had. Alright, there's only one more. Not too bad. Get there from going over here. Is that? Oh, huh? Yes. Question is, can I reach from over here? Well, let's see here. Can I grab it? careful that will kill me I don't know why I bothered to do that oh, I, don't know. I wonder if I can descend right behind it you know Read it out. okay I do not have any arrow that's right <laughs> not a single arrow Take fall damage? I do. That's dumb. <laughs> How do you take fall damage? There's no gravity here. Or is there's just low gravity? Ah, uh, yes, a large zonite. It's not like I could have gotten that in the depths pretty easily. Whenever I fall, I just have to, you know, like. I just have to wait for a blood moon. All of the boss monsters down in the depths come back to life. And then I grab all their resources. There's a, a very strong Lionel down there. It's a silver Lionel that has armor when you first fight it. So you gotta beat the... You, you gotta take off the armor first before you can actually do damage to it. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought there'd be a bit more to this area. I thought there'd be like a working forge. Or like a way for me to get more zonite. But there isn't. Hmm. Yeah, and all the, uh, all the workers are dead. Defunct, rather. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. Why would I want to do that? There's lasers up there. <laughs> Oh, 
Nothing else, huh? Surprising. Alright. In that case, we'll get out of here. Pretty cool island, nonetheless. Now then. Next place to go. I've already been there. Already been there, already been there. We'll go over here. Oh, we could fight that thing too. Unless I already fought it. I think I may have already fought it. Okay, which direction is it? It is this way. Put the green one over there. It's this thing. That's not really enough force to get me over there. Even if I did, like, have a vehicle. Where's the islands that I marked? It's like... I don't see it. Is it up there? No, it's not up there. It must be lower then. Oh no, it's right there. <laughs> I was looking the wrong way. Hovercraft. Thank you to whoever just... Whoever, like, thought of just using these three items to make this thing, thank you very much. And then in the depths, if you have this thing, you can just, like, if you throw a giant bright bloom on the bike, it stays on the bike. That way, when, when you're, like, flying around, you have portable light on you. I mean, you do have the Zonai portable light as well. But then, of course, it runs on battery, which means your hovercraft will lose more battery. Like, it, it'll lose it faster. But by putting a giant bright bloom on your bike, that's like a good amount of light surrounding you. And it doesn't... It also, it, it also has no weight, so it's not like tipping your bike. Ah, it's another one of these kinds of shrines. Oh. So we need multiple layers to it. Okay. You arrived. What do you have? Do you have <laughs> hover stones, homing, cart, hydrant, and what? I'm starting to think that the big battery doesn't actually have a dispensary, because I feel like that'd be a bit too OP. I mean, I've been able to find it's another time bomb. I've only been able to find, like, a few on these islands. Hopefully there is a dispensary that has the big batteries, because those are really, like, really useful. Especially if you strap them onto your hovercraft. Hmm? Oh, it just activates that thing? <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. There's like a zoom up. Boom. Boom. Alright. Oh, clearly I need that thing. So we'll start the quest. I'm guessing it's on the top island, huh? Imagine if it's in the maze over there. 
straight up. Oh, it's over there. It's even higher than I expected. Alright, well, best way to get there would be over here. Unless there's another area I can march myself towards. No? Okay. Oh man. <laughs> I wanted to catch that right before it did it. Oh, hello. Enemy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> just. Oh, oh, wait. I got it. I got it. I was trying to find if there was a significance to this block. There might be. I might need to bring it up there. If that's the case, then it's probably best if I. Ow. Ow. I was wondering where it was gonna drop. If this rock is of any significance, I need to use this platform. fucked up. <laughs> there goes that. Well, it didn't respawn, so I don't think it was that important. Nope. Oh. Cool. <laughs> oh. There's another block here, too. What's your significance, huh? to launch me up is gonna be uh where I guess I gotta go over there huh over here maybe I gotta get on one of them like put them on one of these things correctly. Oh yeah, that's more than enough lift. Got it. Okay, now what? Well, I gotta bring it all the way over there. That's what I gotta do. Now, I could probably just drop it, can't I? It'll probably survive if I do that. Let's see what happens. Drop. Oh yeah, we're good. <laughs> there goes one of my fairies. I just wanted to drop. I have the barbarian armor, and in Breath of the Wild you got the barbarian armor by going through the, the mazes. Like one of the mazes that I'm near right now, that cube over there. I wonder what the, what the prize is going to be if I go there. Maybe I should check on that. Nice. 
nice, nice. I'm actually on my way to a fourth, uh, to a fourth, um, spirit orb. That's more health. So now that we're done with that, let's go to the labyrinth. Looks like we're exploring a good amount of the sky this time around. I believe that's the Zora temple. Yeah, that's the water temple. That one we've been to. There's a cube over there. I believe that's the one in the Hebrew region. That's not the Gerudo area, is it? Oh yeah, that should be the... Yeah, I think that's the Hebrew region. Because there was a maze over there as well. Next to a couple of Lionels, actually. I don't think I... I don't think I'd be able to make this on a paraglider. Hmm. that platform right there. That would be pretty useful. Just gotta bring it with me. Oh, no, no. Wait, wait. They were about to fall off. We'll bring it, like, right here. I'm gonna... Detach one of them. We'll... We'll detach the other one. We'll detach it, and then we'll... We'll, uh, like, put it on after this one. Because I can only use one at a time. to do it. Oh no. Wait, never mind. Uh we gotta do this fast. I don't think I have enough time to do this. <laughs> is going to be on foot. I wonder if I should drop down there first. Ooh, shrine. For later. Should I go to the bottom first? Let's go to the bottom one first. Maybe there's a way for me to get up there. From the bottom. Or maybe I should... Nah, we're already up here. We may as well, right? I wonder if it's going to be another trial like the moment I set foot in there. I don't know what's inside. I actually don't know what's going to be inside. Maybe it's just a boss. It could be. There's going to be a Gleok inside. There's going to be like three Hinoxes. I could take them all. No problem. Oh no. Lome Sky Labyrinth. We got re 
reduce gravity in here, unfortunately. Sky Labyrinth, huh? I wonder what the prize is gonna be. Courage to jump. Ooh. Oh. No. Oh. Hearts, huh? Oh, I better choose this one. Yep. Go! I think we can survive this, right? It can go on top? Nice. It's like a cart. Whee! It's, it's like a... Like a cart track. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Go this way. Hopefully we'll reach that. Nice. You can probably survive the lasers. Yeah, I don't think they'll hurt us, right? We're high enough that it won't reach us. Good. We'll go this way. <laughs> Those are bombs. Better be careful. That yeah, will be fine. like Mario Kart. Oh, I know we gotta go over here. Hi! Well, guess what? You're about to get run over. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was actually kind of fun. That's our fourth orb. Which means we got one more upgrade. Now let's see what the labyrinth has for us. I think that mechanism over there might open it. Oh! Oh, not enough? You who set foot in the labyrinth of the, of the sky. Let me guess, you want me to do the one underneath it first? Go to the labyrinth of the land deep within its corridors, a dragon ring sleeps, awaiting the one who will wake it. Ooh. Alright, yeah, you gotta go down. Well, at least now we have a teleport. Let's get out of here. Let's go one... One... One island at a time. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some stuff in here. Anything over there? It looks like it's just light. It doesn't look like it's too important. There you go. Here we are in the labyrinth. Oh, there seems to be a chasm down there. Huh? <laughs> Oh! Nice! Thank you. Alright. So I'm guessing I gotta start over here, huh? Research log day one. It took us two days to reach this isolated island. Though the ruins stood before us, we were too exhausted to explore. And though weary, Toro was able to decipher the Zonai writing on the stone slab. The dragon ring slumbers in the draben, no, draben, in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it, and ye shall receive due compensation. While his translation provided me with renewed vigor, Toro shortly thereafter fell ill with fatigue. After seeing him off on his way home, I swore to tackle the ruins myself. The acorns and nuts I have prepared to mark my path should see to it that I do not get lost inside. Whoops, I picked up some of them, so... Though I am alone, I need to work hard enough for both Toro and myself. I'll take these. Alright. Let's see what we got over here. 
Now, I don't know if the same... If, if, like, the way to get to the shrine is the same as the one in Breath of the Wild, but then again, I don't even remember that. <laughs> so, I'm going in here blind again. Which is fine. It's good for us. Ooh, hello. One cool thing is that now that we have the ascend ability, I don't have to climb up the walls. That's like a long time. And sometimes it was raining, so. Oh, water. That is an added thing, is the fact that there's water in here now. It's flooded. Oh, and it looks like there's about to be a thunderstorm. That's always cool. Hmm? Is there anything down here? No. Acorn. Acorn. You know it would be a very dark joke? I don't know who the writer of the research log is, but what if at the end there's just one, like, style uh, cobbler to signify that he died? It would be one of those things where, you know, it's like, it's an implied death. if the acorns are actually supposed to lead me to where I need to go. Ow. But I may as well follow them. They're leading me somewhere. one I go to, huh? Oh, shoot. Yep, there it is. All my Zonai stuff. Thankfully, all the Zonai stuff are both fireproof and lightning proof. There you go. Oh, not the way. This way. Acorn over there, which means we gotta go this way. Wait, did we make it back to the- Ah, oh, what? We made it back to the front. Okay, well. Maybe I was going backwards. That's not good. We gotta go somewhere else then. There's probably another entrance somewhere. <laughs> Maybe if I go through here. We'll go like this way. Hopefully it takes me where I want to go. Um, looks like a dead end. I'm trying to look at the mini-map as well, because I, I just remembered that I had a mini-map. I think this is a dead end. But I don't know if I can trust a 2D map. Okay. That time I could trust it. And it was the only time I doubted it. This way down here. Let me see. Them. Splash roots, huh? Nothing there. Go this way. Let's go this way, probably more up. Fruit. 
Hopefully I'm going the right way. So I got a dragon ring here, which lets me do something up there. our destination right here. I'm guessing... Hmm. I don't think there would be an entrance over here. I think that would be too easy if I... if that were the case. Most likely I gotta go around. Oh, nice. Eh. Don't really need it. Thank you, though. So if that's not the entrance, maybe I gotta go around around. So I go over here. It's like right behind it. Oh. There's really nothing here. I just wanted to grab these things. It's above me then. <laughs> There's an area down here. I don't know if I want to exit right here though. Oh, another one. Hello. Zonite bow, another one. Let's get rid of the old one. Actually, no. Let's get rid of this. Or I guess I didn't need... No, I know. Get rid of that. Now grab it. It didn't let me drop it because there wasn't enough space. There you go. Hmm. Maybe that is what I needed to do. Just like use a scent right here. I'm still inside. Now I'm like inside, inside. Hmm. This might have been a good call. Uh, this is a zonite sword. Above? Oh, okay. No, I think this is it. Yeah. So we made it inside. <clears throat> I'm guessing this opened it. Dragons have unlocked a door. Oh, the door above. Find it on the south side of the labyrinth of the sky. Oh, I get it. Dragon ring. Yeah, I guess, yeah, this is a dragon ring. <laughs> My searching has finally led me to a Zonai relic. I must hurry back and tell Toro all about it. Though I must admit, my curiosity remains piqued. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to leave these ruins. For instance, I see a lower level from this room. Just how is one supposed to reach it? Well, like that. It's already open. But first... Gift labyrinth? I mean, gift shrine? Only reward, please? I don't want to do another one. <laughs> I want to go to the sky one. Yay, nice. <laughs> That's not a nice one. Maybe the, um, the reward for the sky labyrinth is going to be more clothes. A different kind of clothing. I don't know what it's going to be, though. Maybe it's a Zonai kind of thing. I get to dress up as a Zonai, is that 
culturally insensitive. Can I say that? <laughs> I am curious to see what's underneath here. Maybe we'll do that another time. At least I know now that there is an entrance to the depths down here. Right? Can I go down here? Oh no, it's locked. Ah, this- oh god. Oh no. Wait. Wait, um, what's the best way to do this? Okay, I gotta act real fast. Hey, okay. wait. Cool. Come on in. Oh, this is too close. Damn it. That was too close. If I had used my uh, bombs, it would have killed me. No! Let go! Oh, no, it's not where I wanted to go. I really hope that would be like a platform I could go to. No, they all lead up. I, I, I need to beat this thing. That's the thing. I got enough bomb arrows, that's for sure. Probably change my bow to a better one. One of the one of the triple shots. Ah, that's a puff shroom. Cool. Of course, there's still a matter of fighting the family. We can we can do that though. It shouldn't be too difficult. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna make sure we kill that guy. No, I do not want to use that. We'll use one of these ones. <laughs> Alright. Fight me, my guy. Oh, you got a two-handed weapon this time. Ow! Side Drop anything. Else. Dark clump. There's that bow that I was talking about. Where the more hearts you have, the stronger it is. I don't know if it's worth it though. Eh, get rid of this. Human King Bow. I don't need this. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't need that. Plus, it saps my health. Why would I need that? Ooh, hello. Hey, nice big battery. Anything else? No. This place used to be full of guardians. I miss the guardians. They were a nice bit of stress. <laughs> of course, once you learn how to parry their attacks, they're real easy. Okay, well, you don't open. I wonder how I can open you. I don't see anything like that. <laughs> Ooh. Before I go. Take a picture. <laughs> For the compendium. Maybe there's something over here. Oh. There's another hole. Ah, there you go. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hello. What the hell? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what? What was that? Did I hit a wall? Is that why I did that? Canceled my bullet time for some reason. There you go. There. 
We're just doing a lot of dungeon exploring <laughs> in the stream. I had meant to go to Terrytown or something like that, but change of plans, like I said. Distraction, distraction. I don't know what this place is gonna lead to, but ah, that's what it leads to. Black Hinox, huh? Could be useful. Ow. Let's go on its hand. I don't have any room for any of its weapons, but we can get some damage done first here. Bring me up. Oh, come on. Deal damage. Deal damage. As much damage. Right to its butt cheek. Oh my god, did I kill it? <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> it didn't even start the uh, music. Alright, I'll take that. Thank you, almighty Master Sword. God damn. Okay, uh, get rid of... Which one can I get rid of? I'll get rid of this song. Grab the royal bell. Ah, sex! Ah, sex! <laughs> I love that. I'm proud of that. Granted, I was drunk when I yelled that one out, but you know, it still counts. I'll say it still counts. Hello, rock-like. I don't want to fight you, so... You can throw rocks at me, I don't care. Horriblins? Okay, well, that's not really much of a threat either. Ow! They're more of a nuisance than a threat. Get out of here. Halberd, and eh, we're good. I don't need that. Nice. And dead. Ooh, there's another one over there. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to have it fall down into the water. Too. There's a lot of branching paths here and get lost very easily. Ooh, that's a good place. This is a good place. We got some fairies. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Tank more hits. Give it, you know, Not again. You know, well, I'm starting to regret bringing you with me. I mean, yeah, I guess you can hit rocks, but like, for these more delicate things, I can't really rely on you, you know? You're a bit of a liability. Hmm? Oh. A cave. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Oh, this must have been just the way to get up there. Ooh, and here's the shrine that I saw earlier. Let's do the shrine and then go up top. We'll go to the sky labyrinth after this one. Rotational brilliance. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, do I have to do this? Hmm. I don't know what that's for. 
can do this. I gotta make sure I don't get hurt doing this. One, two. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna get hurt. Ah, man. Let me go on top of this thing. Yeah, it doesn't have that kind of gift. It's like I can't climb on it. I was trying to be clever by by doing that. And as for you, well, I guess what I can do is just hit you with an arrow. There you go. Um, probably best to drop me down like that. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Here so that it will knock this thing up. <laughs> knock it up. <laughs> All right. Rewind. It's gonna launch me. Up. Damn it! This thing was interfering with it. Gonna have to do that again. Remind me to get this thing out of the way. not enough? Surprising. <laughs> you think that would be enough force to like... To like uh, launch me up into the air, but no. Yeah, because that's a lot of... That's a lot of speed. Okay, we'll try again. Maybe I just gotta jump off the moment it's up there. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. I keep messing up. One of these things where it's not that difficult, it's just that I'm horrible with timing. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hmm? What? You just want me to go over there? does anything. <laughs> That's kind of got it moving. I'm not going to bother getting that thing. Just stack these things together. Right. Be like, yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's too heavy. Is that what you want me to do? Keep this thing afloat by putting this thing underneath it? Huh. 
Ah, two of them. Two of them. One on each side. Kind of. Kind of works. We could probably refine that a bit better. Uh, probably not even like underneath it. Probably like to the side. No? Like this. Might be enough to keep it afloat. Or maybe like one on each side. Like, vertically. That is... It, it kind of works. Probably better if I do it that way. Like this. That. And just do it like this. Wait for it to stop moving. And it's... it's <laughs> and then hope that it works. Let's just do it like this. Hell yeah, this is gonna work. Just you watch. Sacrifice an apple for it. Are we moving? We are moving. See, that works. It works. And since it works, it means I'm a genius. Get in there. Huh? Oh, is that enough? Not, not enough. Okay, that should be enough. That's like a lot of weight. Maybe I gotta put this on top. Like that. There you go, see? That was kind of weird, though. Oh, only two more, and then I get another two. Um, upgrades. Alright. Sky Labyrinth time. See what's going on up there. I feel like I'm gonna have to fight something. More than likely, huh? Well, we'll see. And then maybe once we're done with here, I might try to fly down to those pirate ships. Looks like there could be something cool there. Where are the pirate ships? They're over there. Do, 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 do. I was kind of hoping it would be actual pirates, like human pirates. But no, they're monsters. They can't have me killing people. I mean, I do fight the Yiga, but they don't exactly get slain, they just disappear. Four terminals are hidden in this maze. F shoot. Four terminals, huh? It's like a divine beast. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Alright, labyrinth time. Mm. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So I just have to stay floating, huh? Gotcha. I wonder what a terminal looks like, though. I mean, I guess it'd be good to have high ground. Nothing up there. Ooh, nice! Those are the most big batteries I've gotten in a while. I'll take that. This way. I need to find. I need to see what a terminal actually looks like. So I know what I'm looking for. Not this way. 
very interesting having a maze where I can't touch the ground. Well, I mean, I can touch the ground, but there is no ground. There are platforms. There's no bottom. And I'm guessing the implication here is that the, uh, what do you call it? This thing was part of the actual labyrinth. It's just, this is the top part. Forever Dakota, welcome to the team. Thank you for stopping by. How am I? I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well as well. I'm just playing some Tears of the Kingdom as usual. We're in a labyrinth right now. I'm trying to figure out how to get through this area. This is going to be a lot of... I really hope... Y'all don't have any... What do you call... Motion sickness? Watching me do this? Because this is going to be a lot of turning. It's going to be a lot of camera... Screwery. I also got to remember where I've been. I gotta find four terminals. I found one. I found. I definitely found one. <laughs> huh. Hmm. This one? Now, this is an actual maze. Now, now that I'm actually looking for something, not like an entrance to. Because I feel like I subconsciously knew the entrance to that uh, area in the land maze because I played Breath of the Wild so much. I'm pretty sure it's the same like route to get to that central area. And now that I'm looking for something in this kind of maze, this, this is more difficult. Also, it's very screwy. <laughs> it's very screwy. Have I been here before? Uh, you think I have? No, I haven't. This way. Oh my god. So many branching paths. I mean, it is a labyrinth after all. Hello? Anything here? Oh. Anything over there? No. Anything over here? No. Oh, I've been here before. kind of reminds me of well yeah it's in the shape of a tear but the swirly kind of reminds me of Wind Waker like the design of it there's a lot of swirls in that game it's a very cute game they should bring it to the switch <laughs> the port ports the remaster remasters Zelda collection it's just gonna be Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. I'd buy it. <laughs> God knows I'd buy it. Oh my god. Well, at least I found one terminal, right? I just gotta find three more. Here? Found them. I found one. No, I did not find one. I thought I found one. Also, that was a very weird sound that came out of my mouth. I feel like I was trying to say something and then... And then it got mixed up with something else. <laughs> Which it resulted in a very weird noise. Uh, this way? Hopefully? No? Shit. Uh, this way. Terminal, terminal. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. This way. I don't think I've been this way, right? This way? Uh, let's go this way. I'm just, I'm just moving. I'm not really keeping track of where I've been. I'm just, like, moving. I've been here before. So this way. 
Maybe? <laughs> I'm easily getting lost in here. Which makes sense. Oh, there, there's the terminal that I found earlier. Then again, I am on this side. Let's see here. Let's go this way. Wait, I need a touchdown. You get some stamina. Uh, well, I mean, I have stamina food, so I guess I didn't really need to, but best not to waste them. Ooh, something over here. Maybe? Anything cool here? No. No. This way, maybe. Here? Oh. oh. Eh. Don't think I really need that. See, nothing there. Anything up here? Nope. I'm guessing if I fall through the um, the bottom, I can't get back up. It's like that's where the gust ends. So if I go all the way down there, I wouldn't be able to make my way up here. Where am I? Because I'm over here now. Let's go this way. Maybe I should just get out of this area. go back from the so this is the one I've been to maybe I should try going around this area there's probably one down here let's see where am I okay we're gonna go I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna go like this way down here I'm trying to look at my mini map to make sure I'm going the right way jump down here area probably somewhere over here yeah no nothing there whoops I did not mean to climb on this thing no stop I'm gonna have to touch down for some stamina no I don't eat one of these things trick that Ain't nothing there then. Let's go this way. Oh, the dead end. No, no, right here. Um, anything here? No, nothing there. At least we made our way back to the middle. Let's explore the other area then. Is there an entrance over here? Nice. Okay, let's see here. Fall down down here. Go up. We're just making a lot of guesses right now. There's not much commentary I can make just being in a <laughs> just being in a maze. Hmm. Nope. Oh. I hope the reward is good though. For my sake. <laughs> For the sake of my sanity. 
I hope the reward is worth it. Making sure. Oh my god. Drop down for a bit. Right, back in there. I think our best choice is to go top down, huh? Surprised I found even one. Is that a terminal? It is. Wait, they light up when you go near it. Wait, is the one that I saw earlier? Is that one that I been to? And I gotta go back. <laughs> I gotta go back just to see if that was a shrine that I like a terminal that I've already been to, or if it's just a deactivated one. I don't remember. Okay, well, I should probably mark which ones I've been to, huh? So this one. Uh, star. We'll do a star. Okay, so there's one here. I'm guessing th this one is a terminal then. Just from the way it looks. Probably, in that case, this one. Okay, we're gonna go for the one over here. How would I get there, though? I don't see an opening. Unless I, I would have to go, like, all the way over here. Let's see if I'm correct. Hopefully I'm correct. Otherwise, that's a lot of backtracking. This way, drop down here. our way over here. Is this the place where we can go to? Oh, here. Uh... Oh, no. There's no way over there. I had to go around, all the way around. Alright, let's get out of this area then. Hopefully there's a way over there. Maybe through here? Central area, right? Cool. What's this slab? See if I'm correct. We'll go like through here. Exit off in this area, which brings us over here. If the map is showing me exactly where they are. Like by those like areas, it kind of looks like this. You see how there's a like a line over here, which I think might be the terminal. If that's the case, and this there's a terminal over here, isn't there? There is. Nice. Oh, then I'm correct. Cool. Now there's only one more, and I'm assu assuming that the one in the corner, the the top right corner is the one that I've already been to, then I would need to go right here. And the best way to do that is it's gonna go back to the central area, go right here. No, no, we'll have to exit through here. Which means we go through here, over there. No, no, no. What's the best way to get there? Okay, we go through here. Have to remember that for the next labyrinth we go to. Right, get out of here. We'll 
exit out through the central area over here. And then enter back in from right here. should take me there. I hear it, I think. Hmm, I really thought I'd be able to pass through. Because it looks like it, doesn't it? Maybe it's high up. No. Ow. I did not expect that. <laughs> Alright, okay, so this is not the area. How do I get there then? Is there another entrance? Oh! What? I didn't see that. How come I didn't see that? Oh, I must have hit it. That's why. Hmm. But I don't think I'm getting enough air to make it all the way up there. Also, what happened to the wind? There you go. There you go. There it is. Ow. All four. Hmm? Oh. Whoop. Bring me up. Can you take me all the way up to the top? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I did not want to have to do that. <laughs> nice. You who have traversed this maze mark well my words. Pulled apart the bars in the labyrinth of the land that obstructed your path below ground. Oh, okay. So it, wait, it gives me access to the depths that we didn't get to go to earlier. From high above to far below, prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. Oh, you want me to go all the way over here? The final way shall open to you. Is there a labyrinth all the way in the depths? Please tell me there isn't a labyrinth down there. <laughs> it's like, not again. Dive! You just want me to dive all the way down there, huh? Well, it said it opened it, so... We should be good. <laughs> Imagine if it lied. way to do this, huh? Oh, thank you for wasting your points. That's a fun one that I, <laughs> that I added in there. Okay. Oh, there's a guardian down there. Oh, it's, a too, it's too bad that I didn't... Oh, this is kind of bad. Since I don't have the map for this area, I'm gonna be even more lost. Maybe I should go back once I get the map data. I should be able to find one if I were to... Right here. It's like underneath this area. Let me do that real quick. Hopefully there is a light route in that area. I think there should be. Which would give me the map data of the labyrinth. So if I go like around right there. Yellow. There it is. Um. We'll just 
We'll just fly. Oh man, I gotta farm more zonite. I'll do that later. What's that then? So if I... Because I could use Ascend. Like make my way back to the surface using one of these things. But where would that take me? It would take me... Onto the ancient lab. Hm. Why the ancient lab? Curious. Is it just like a secret way in there? I don't think there's anything underneath it. Not to my knowledge. Let's grab this light route, and then we'll head back into the maze. You know, Bo. Oh, it's still shrouded in darkness, of course. Dang it. Too good to be true, see? Yeah, it, it didn't light it up all the way. Ooh, that's gonna be a uh, doozy. Let me see what happens if I go down. If I ascend from over here, where do you take me? Because, we, like, we're right underneath the research lab. Let's not do that. <laughs> All right. Um, guess we should probably go back down here, huh? All right, what's the best way to do it? Best way to do it would be uh, just to go from over here. Maybe I'll just have to like, cross-reference where I am. Because I'm pretty sure the layout of the maze is essentially the same, right? Yeah, it's kind of the same. So I'm just going to have to use that. area. Ooh, level 3 construct. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, there, nice. I need to get to it. Just do a lot of damage. Shifts position. The level three um, constructs. They shift position. So you never know where 
is gonna be. I'm just gonna aim right here. Hopefully it like goes right there. There. Oh, what? There. <laughs> I was just waiting for it to show up right in front of me. Wait, was that it? Wait, was that literally the end? I don't have to do anything else? Take these. Are you gonna open up the rest of the maze? Or I'm guessing this is just it. There's nothing else. This trial was a test of your talents. In overcoming it, you have shown yourself to be strong of body, skill, and mind. In my name as the ruler of dragons, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. Hmm, so it is armor. What kind of armor? Is it kind of like a barbarian armor? Evil spirit armor. Oh, this is the Ganon clothing. Eh. I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> kind of underwhelming. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I guess this maze isn't all that big, huh? It's actually much smaller. Or maybe there's more to it. Is there more to it? actual labyrinth. I guess this must be it. Oh. There's a way out from up here. Right? Yeah, this is, this is the outside. Keep giving me that blade. I don't need it. Oh, okay. I don't think there's anything else out here, huh? I don't see a light route. There's water around me. This might be a closed area. Ooh, light route. Light route? Yep. It's a small area. It's just like by itself. Huh. I wonder if there's anything up there. I'd have to go like right underneath it. Oh. There is a lot of treasures here. Is it another sword? It's a spear. That is kind of good, but... Do I have enough room? I'll get rid of this one. Blue Lionel. Blue Lionels are weak. They are not enough to give me anything I need. right underneath that so I could use a send. Maybe I could use a send, but I don't know where it would take me. No, actually, I, I'm pretty sure that's just the entrance. Like, it's, it's a tunnel that let me fall down here. Okay, so in that case, there's nothing else for me here. Okay. Let's get out, then. Let's get out. I like how I was going to... I, I can still grab these two. 
We'll grab these two areas. And I think I might cut it short for tonight. Because I gotta do some stuff right before I go to bed. But before I do that, we're gonna grab the two towers. L uh, Lord of the Rings. Ooh, Dinroll. I don't see Dinroll as much of the four dragons. I don't see. I do not have high ground here. Let's go here. right there. Ooh. Pretty close, too. I just need to get up in the air. So I can grab you. Oh, higher. Mean to do that? I'll take it. Prince Ashitaka. You can't tame these things. They can't go any faster. All you can do is ride them. Oi, keep it going. I need to go over there. I don't know what's up with this area. Typhlo ruins. Oh no. No! Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I would sink in the moment I got in there. Good thing I did. Isn't this the place that's always in darkness? It's supposed to be. It's like in Breath of the Wild, this place was like shrouded in darkness. <laughs> Pretty bold of the Sheikah to, to do a. Uh, what do you call it? Yo. Hey. Oh, my brother in research, I was waiting for you. Oh. That's right. I'm the one who discovered these big ruins way out here, but I wasn't able to make much progress investigating them. Uh. I'm only one Hylian, and this, alas, is not a one Hylian job. That's why I wrote to the Zonai survey team, asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. What? what? You're not a Zonai survey team researcher? You're just some guy? I mean, saying I'm just some guy is kind of an understatement. I see. Mm. So few people come through here. I assumed you had to be assistant I asked for. My mistake. After all the trouble I've gone to, can't they send one assistant to help in my monolith research? Oh. Oops, did you hear that? Sorry, scrub that from your brain. It's not meant to be public knowledge. Mm. If you were from the Zonai survey team, I could tell you all about what I've discovered so far, but you're not. So... <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm part of me. I know Pura. Oh, and thank you for the Water is Life Redeem. Sorry, sorry I didn't see that uh, earlier. <laughs> I just saw the waste your points. Then again, though he may not be a researcher, he does have that look of an adventurer about him. Maybe his expertise will get things back on track. Ah. You know what? You're hired. For this project alone, I'm appointing you as my research assistant. Come on, let's find out what secrets these ruins are hiding. Oh. Now well, then we can dive right in. I'll start by showing you what my research has uncovered so far. Wait here. Ooh. Hmm? What stone mm. size? Take a look. I think you'll be pretty surprised by this discovery. Display the power of the Sage of Fire to blaze through the space between two dragons from head to tail. 
Huh? Blaze through the space between dragons. Between two dragons from head to tail? The space between two dra- What the hell? You want me to use Unobo? Blaze through the space between two dragons. Like literally two ah. dragons? Mm. Ah. The Zonai were an ancient civilization with their own system of writing. Almost no one living today can read Zonai script. But you can read the inscription on that monolith, right? That's because it's written in Hyrulean. Mm. Though these ruins appear to be Zonai in origin, they feature texts written in modern Hyrulean. How could that be? Who built these ruins and for what purpose? Oh. This is just a possibility, but the monoliths that were found might be pointing to a spot somewhere in the ruins. You and me, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I need you to find that spot. There we might... We may find yet another monolith that tells us why these ruins were built. <laughs> it's just a hunch, but it's also your boss's hunch, so... Corridor between two dragons, huh? Now, clearly they want me to use Yunobo. <laughs> Yunobo's standing right there. A uh, small ring of dragon head statues somewhere, wasn't there? Oh, in this place? What was that again? What do you say? The six dragons. Sage of water in the presence of the six dragons. Six mm. dragons, huh? I don't remember that. Let's grab this area real quick. Huh, is that you? You're out and about late tonight. Uh, Sorry, the Skyview Tower is out of order, and maintenance is proving tricky. Uh, well, the terminal that starts off the Skyview Tower isn't working. I've checked all the terminal parts, but nothing looks broken. Uh, I wonder if it's got something to do with the tower itself. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I wonder if something to do with the tower itself is broken. I mean, there are... There seem to be people up here. That might be the reason. I'll take a look at that. Hi. Might have to get rid of you guys. Oh, hi. You're not where I need to go to right now. Get you while I'm up here. No. Ah, that's why. Get rid of you, huh? Bonk. Should be enough. I just need to like land right here. It's probably a fail safe like system. Like just in case something was obstructing the top, it wouldn't let you use the terminal. Hey, yeah, Dinral. You're, you're a bit too far away. I don't need to get you right now. How in Hyrule? Huh. The terminal, it's working again. Even though I didn't do anything. Blocking out for the night. Have a good rest of your stream, Joe. One, Joe. One, no. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for the lurk, Jojo. Have a nice, have a nice evening. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. The terminal and the lid on top of the tower are connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head on out. Ah. Uh. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. Claim area, give me more map data. Then we're gonna go to Robbie and grab the um the second travel medallion. Ooh, Farosh. Not Farosh. Did wrong. It's a cool sight, just having them be up there. In fact, 
since we're all the way up here. Ooh, look. There's a geoglyph down here, too. I feel like I'm supposed to be watching the geoglyphs in order. What is that? Wait, there's another dragon. Which dragon is that? Wait, there's another dragon coming towards us. You see that? Sky map data. Right there. Who is that? That is... Oh. The, the light dragon. Wait, there's two dragons in the vicinity. Is that what it meant by using sage fire? I'm gonna grab you real quick. Thing is, the light dragon's a bit too high up for me to do anything about it. And you, on the other hand. Grab you. I just need your horn. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. Flame breaker. I keep forgetting that you have, um... You have materials on the back of your scales. Spikes. Easy fire stuff. Like decent damage. I can attach them to my weapons. Gives me fire stuff as well. Everything. So. Looks like you're angling down. Are you diving down already? If you're diving down there, I better get your horn before you do that. Oh yeah, looks like you're about to dive down. Better grab that before you go. Wait, wait, dinner roll, wait. Just wait one gosh darn moment. I'm not, I'm not moving fast enough. to get distracted with let's go towards the shiny and then we grab the tower down there so i should probably take note that there is a geoglyph over here um it's like right here i won't go to it i have a feeling that i'm supposed to do it all in order to get a like a cohesive story. I'll grab this real quick. Cool. Now over here. I gotta figure out where the ruin is. I mean, the tower is. The tower is... Let me take a look around. Ooh, another geoglyph. I don't think I've been there before yet, huh? Okay. Let's mark that. Where's the tower? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> that was easy. over here. Let's not bother. Why is the blue bow goblin wearing the armor? 
You think the silver armor, uh, the silver one would need it? See that? There's a whirlpool over there. That's a curious thing as well. Because of course there was a whirlpool where um, where the divine beasts used to be. That led us to a maze. Not a maze. A ruin. Hmm? Does it not work? It's short-circuited. Is there something up there? Or maybe there's something below. It might be what this is for. Oh, yep. I got you. No? Yo, anyone there? Oh my god. <laughs> How'd you get in there? Oh. You're one of the construction workers. Oh. Elmerson. You. What are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? I set off a trap in the ruins, and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. Oh. Can you see a switch? If you press that, you should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. Wait, um, are you part of the tower quest? I don't know if I want to help you right now. <laughs> I was just trying to get the tower. It won't let me though, that's the thing. I don't know if there's anything up there. Uh, let me take a look. just not open. If I had to guess, maybe I would have to help that guy. Alright, let's do it then. Maybe he can fix the tower. Top of the foothills excavation site. So I just need to put something on top of that. Here. Rock. Get out. Yo, can you fix a tower up there? I don't even want to look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. There you go. Yeah, he's going to fix the tower. Thank you. Mister, thanks again for saving me. I was only in the area in the first place to do maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to it, the humidity, but I fixed it in a jiffy. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, getting stuck caused all the kinds of delays. I need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. I probably caused trouble for my friends at the construction company, so I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm going to get moving as soon as I call. Uh, <laughs> Speaking hard, I should just, I should just start speaking like a cave, you know? Me good, this good, tower good, tower working now, tower good, Joshua working hard. Me get map data, me go to Hateno, get more map. sure that's 10 map datas. There you go. Ooh. 
as ominous. All right. Go to Hateno. Research the lab. Go to Robbie. Did I go to the tower? Whoops. That's not where I meant to go. This is where I meant to go. Robbie! I like how I said I was going to... Um, close out stream a bit earlier, but we're getting to that point anyway. Hey, hey you! <laughs> I want a second one. What? You got the data. Hurry up and let me see that poor pad. Oh. Nice. So now I can do two spots. Extra one to your key, so you'll never lose the ability to use it. I can add the ability to create one more. Oh, really? Three? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Three of them, huh? I'm guessing that's just the rest of the map data. But that would give me all five. I mean, all, all three slots. Wow. I'm guessing they're separate, aren't they? Oh, no, no, there's one more. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Collect. Collect. Oh, gotcha. I'm glad I don't have to go to it in order to collect the medallion, you know? I feel like that would be too much work. It's a good thing I can just do it from the map. Imagine if I could place one. <laughs> I think that would be a bit too OP if I could just place a medallion from anywhere. All right, so now our our map has gone up. There's still these areas. It's where the rest of the story is. Now we got two more. I still don't know how to get through Korok Forest. That's still a mystery to me. I'll figure it out, though. But anyways, I am going to end tonight and stream for tonight because I must do something before I go to bed. So let me just wrap things up a bit. Find someone to raid. Thank you everyone for stopping by. It's very nice to have you here for company. And I hope you find yourselves on my stream once again, <laughs> whenever you have the time, if you're so inclined. I do enjoy company quite a lot. Let's see here. Ah, okay. Now let's uh, raid Sunny then. Raid. Sunny Hinode, which is the uh, one who rigged my model. Should definitely go check her out. Anyways, the next time I'm going to be streaming is going to be uh, Thursday. This Thursday. I'm going to take Wednesday off because remember, I'm capping streams weekly to four a week. I'm going to keep my myself healthy. I'm going to make sure I'm okay. So here's the raid message for those who are not subbed. Raid message for I just did the same thing again. Raid message for those who are. I hope you all find yourselves having a wonderful night, wonderful rest of your day, Wh whatever time zone you're in. And with that out of the way, 